welcome to the Daily Squeeze Take 31, getting back into routine. So I have been traveling for, uh, I don't know, since Thursday. Um, Thursday I flew down to Gold Coast, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I had an amazing day with, um, with some amazing people. And today I flew home from the Gold Coast and I got some cuddles from Boo. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> um, getting back into routine can be hard and can be tricky. So the best thing that um, you can think of is what's going to frustrate you the most. Is it going to be bags on the floor? Is it going to be no food in the fridge? Is it going to be... Um, not having the same nighttime routine or morning routine, like what's most important to you? Whatever is most important to you, you really want to do that first. So, you know, if it's making sure that you're gonna go exercise the next day, get your gym clothes out now, put them where you know you're gonna see them, have them be a tripwire where they're right there in front of your face in the morning so you go and work out. Uh, for me, I, I came home today and I emptied my bag, put everything where it's supposed to be. Mark's already put the bag back up in the closet. It's perfect. It just, it makes me not be lazy right when I get home and it just gets the shit done. Pardon my mouth, but it does. Like sometimes you just have to jump in and do the hard stuff first. It will take me weeks sometimes to empty bags. So first thing in, it's done, it's dusted. It took me five minutes, not even probably. Um, I've had a nice relaxing shower. I'm going to make dinner soon. And boom, Bob's your uncle. Woohoo. Um, figure it out. Ugh, I can't even talk. I'm so bleh from the weekend. But it's a good thing. Complete good thing. So I've had my shower and I'm thinking what's going to frustrate me tomorrow. Well, it's food. So Mark and I are going to figure out what um, I need to prep for us tomorrow. And that's something that's going to be on the agenda for tomorrow night because I have a busy day ahead of me. Um, something else that is going to frustrate me is today was Monday and I had a lot of stuff to do that I'm not going to get done. I'm literally going to go back into my planner. I have my tasks Monday through Friday that I know I want to get done and I'm just going to go back through those and figure out um, what it is that is priority what will get me to my goals that I have planned for the week and what won't. Um, try not to procrastinate, obviously, on the things that won't reach, let me get to my goals and just keep moving forward and give myself some, some leniency, like have that little bit of flexibility that, you know, if I don't jump right into it, that's okay. But to not be lazy, I guess. Not just say, oh, well, I missed Monday, so I have to wait till next week. That's not the goal for actually achieving our goals, I guess. Um, jumping back in the routine is being quite strict with yourself. It's just saying, do it. Get the shit done. You know, empty your bags. Mm -hmm. Get your stuff. Get your stuff um, sorted so that you are set for the next day. Do something that night, even though you're exhausted, that's going to make you energized for the next day. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. You know, zone into what, what's going to frustrate you the most and make sure you do that. That's pretty much the main, the main message for this one. Routines are really important because they do bring um, simplicity to our lives. So the best way to do to jump back into the routine is figure out what you like most within your routine and get that started and everything will flow on and give yourself some time as well but definitely jump into the most important. I will speak to you tomorrow 9 30 bright and early just like normal. Thank you for being patient the last few days as I've been traveling. Um, it's been a great experience for me being out of routine and jumping back into a routine so we'll see how I go this week too and I'm happy to share all my adventures. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.